Speak on it. This is a friend of yours. I've got some information relating to your brother. Come to my ranch and I'll explain. It's in Chiara Robotic, across the Garber Bridge, head south. Who the fuck is this? I can't talk right now. Get your ass over here. Mom's always told me not to talk to strangers. And look what happened to the bitch. Now if you want your brother to go to sleep tonight with his tongue intact, get your ass over here. Goodbye. Wow, that was inviting. Huh, <laughs> ain't this some shit. I was waiting for the train to get here. And I waited a good five minutes and as soon as I gave up, the minute I gave up the train pulled up, I think, I think they knew what they were doing and what? Freight train missions? I never had a clue San Andreas had freight train missions. What does San Andreas not have? By the way, I'm, I'm in a train right now because I figured this is the fastest way to this mystery caller. There's a question mark and then there's Caesar's missions. I'm not sure at this point if Caesar's missions are mandatory. Again, the other one, the other one where the guy just called, that's the one that seems mandatory. But anyways, while I'm on my way, I should tell you something about graphic mods. Because graphic mods, as I've been doing this playthrough, am I even going to be able to drive? Am I even going to be able to make it through this? Is it blocked off? Okay, I was wondering if it was going to be blocked off. The thing about graphics mods is... There's certain things that you can't do. So, last night I tried to do some extra stuff just because I'm really enjoying the game. And I was like, you know what, let me actually play some of the extra stuff that's here. Because San Andreas has a lot, and I am already here. Nice, nice, nice. Let me go ahead and stop and get out. Hit the brakes. Oh, wow, this takes a while to stop. <laughs> so, there's like, there's vigilante missions. So, everything with the cops, right? The cops, the ambulance. I was trying to do vigilante missions. And that would work if the game wasn't modded. But for whatever reason, whatever happens with the code or whatever gets messed with in the game, the game crashes. But it hasn't crashed through any mission, so I found that strange. Carl, darling, welcome. So fucking welcome, man. What you know about my family? Now first we need to see what you're made of. What it look like I'm made of? Putin? No, anger and hate. And that's what I like about you. Hey, there's a truck in the garage. Here's the deal. This is all about speed and commitment. You got GPS in the cab? Get to each set of the map coordinates as quick as you can. Make it to all the coordinates, then get the truck back here, lose the truck, and you fail. First, what's the GPS? Second, fail what? And third, who the fuck are you? Sorry. Need to know basis only. Oh, one more thing. This baby's got four-wheel steering instead of a handbrake. Good luck. Alright, if you say so. I mean, this mission... It doesn't really look official. But the thing was, I went to go check on Caesar. And it looked... It looked like I was... Uh, it, it looked optional because I was just like Zero's missions. I was going to have to buy a building. And so to me, that means this is just optional. This is just more extra stuff in San Andreas, which is really cool, by the way. Don't get me wrong. If this was back in the day, oh, goodness, am I going to get that one? Did I take the wrong route? All right, cool. Yeah, if this was back in the day and I was just playing this and I had never played San Andreas, and I, if I was a completionist, too, I'm not a completionist when it comes to video games. I'm just not. Sometimes I just want to get the story, enjoy what the game designers have created. Don't want to participate in everything, but from the looks of things with this mission, I'm starting to be able to tell this is probably official because it's taking me to places that I've never been. I've never been on this side of the map. Oh, don't want to flip. If you flip, game over. You cannot insert coins to continue. But yeah, this must be my intro to the new land. Yeah, see all this. The only way I saw this, this morning actually, my brother was here and he was tinkering around. He was tinkering around with the graphics and all that, trying to get me a couple of more mods, and so we flew over this place, this desert area. And yeah, I've never done a single mission here. <laughs> Maybe... I don't know, well, my cousin used to have this game, and I used to drive the trains around. That's one time that I've been here. So I have nothing left to assume, but that this playthrough won't last much longer, just because it seems like I've killed a lot of the major people, 
Of course, there's more missions, but I think I'm definitely more than halfway through, at least. And at the rate that I'm going. So I'm starting to think about my next playthrough. And it all depends. It all depends when these... Oh, shit! It all depends when these videos come out, because I'm trying to do them daily, so... If I had to estimate... Well, more like guesstimate. I'm just guesstimating at this point. Ooh, do not make me do this again, please. Yeah, if I had to guesstimate, I would say that... By the time it's August, I'll probably be done or very close to done with San Andreas. I don't see this going much, much farther than, farther than the beginning of August. And so I'm thinking about, well, what do I want to let's play? Because now this channel has gotten some kind of recognition. I've been getting close to about 10k people interested in this playthrough, so maybe they'll be interested in other playthroughs that I'm going to do. And so the obvious low-hanging fruit is GTA 5 with graphic mods. Because I got a decent PC. I've done graphic mods on GTA V before. But that I don't know if I cut that part of the video out where I was talking about graphic mods and if you ever wanted to do them with GTA because they seem like more of a showcase thing if I'm being honest. They seem like more of a showcase thing because there's things that I straight up can't do. Like I tried to do the vigilante missions on here just for fun. I was just trying to earn more money, just trying to explore more San Andreas. That was off camera. The game crashed. I tried to do the rally car thing. That's awesome. That's yet another feature that San Andreas has. Back in San Fierro, there was these things with like rally cars and you had to, I didn't get to play it much because as soon as I started, <laughs> the game crashed, but it looked awesome. And I was like, wow, I really have an appreciation for what they did with this game. But anyways, where that applies to like a GTA 5 is I don't know what's going to work and what's not going to work. Even, even through just doing the playthrough with the missions in this game, it always feels like you're on borrowed time because you never know when the game is going to crash. And it has nothing, I mean it has something to do with the strength of your PC, but it's also just whatever the mods tinker with because I've done GTA 5 mods before so I know the PC is strong enough to handle them. But with like San Andreas, there'll be certain things, it's just the way that the mod makes things load, certain parts of the map just cause the funny glitches and the game will just crash. And so the other thing with a potential GTA 5 playthrough, because I'm toying with that idea, the other thing is time, because I'm kind of, you know, I started this Let's Play channel in the summer. That's when I started Let's Playing anyways. I started this channel a while ago. But I started Let's Playing in the summer. And so new games are going to be coming out very soon. We got a nice lineup. You know, Cyberpunk will be out next year. Luigi's Mansion is going to be out this year. If people were interested, I would definitely Let's Play that, because I was... <laughs> That's one of my first games as a child. That is one of my first... That's like my introduction into being a gamer. So I would give Luigi's Mansion a try. Pokemon, Sword and Shield, absolutely. Whether I, whether I let's play that or not, I will be playing the hell out of that game. I've actually been finishing up Alpha Sapphire in preparation. And this is over. Pretty good for a ghetto boy. The boss will be in touch. Ah, alright, so we got ourselves a house slave. Interesting. Who the fuck is this? Son, get back to the ranch, and I'll explain everything. And I mean everything. Can't you just tell me now? I guess not. Alright, so I'm gonna have to finish my soliloquy about future Let's Plays later. Because apparently we're about to find out who Mystery Voice is. Hey, Carl. Hey, what the fuck, man? Hey, Torino, I, I told you my bad, man. What the hell can I say? I screwed you Calm over. Calm down, kid. Just go ahead and kill me then. Calm down. Man, you ain't number the fucking Yayo dealer anyway, Torino. Shut up and sit down. What, you think I'm a drug dealer? And what, you think you're a crusader for good? Do you have any idea what's going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? Do you? Nah, I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smart ass with me. I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. That does not make me a drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency? Kids like you, you expect heroes. We're fighting a war out there. 
I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. So relax and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you. To do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. Now this is a two-man job. You'll need a friend. Use your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching you. I got here as fast as I could, CJ. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? <laughs> Man, you losing it, Holmes. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean, oh yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. Wow. We gotta play Caesar? We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. Man. We're about to play Caesar. This is the one guy who we just been... Hold on, let me look at the map. It feels like Caesar's the one guy we just been straight with no matter what. And hold on. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. I thought Torino was dead. Like I said, I said this in a previous episode, sometimes when I'm playing... What's the plan? I'm gonna pull alongside, and you gonna hop aboard. Oh shit, you didn't mention that on the phone. It'll be a walk in the park. Tell Kendall I love her. <laughs> I didn't mention a lot of things on the phone, apparently. There's a rig up ahead. I thought he was on that helicopter we shot down. I don't know, again, I, I, I get a clearer... I get clearer on the story as I watch back. Oh, fuck you, Florida driver. That is a Florida driver if I have ever seen one. <laughs> you see so much crazy stuff when you drive in Florida. If you know, you know. I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> I was expecting a cutscene to trigger. So that's where Fast and the Furious got their plots from. <laughs> Fast and the Furious 1. That was straight. Oh no, this came out after Fast and the Furious 1, didn't it? Wait, what are we doing here? Am I going to carjack Caesar? Alright, sweet. I thought I was going to have to knock Caesar out for a second. Okay, CJ, let's get this rig back to the garage. Yeah, back to San Fierro, huh? Kind of thought we were done here. So this is going to be my first investment in GTA. This is going to cost me 20,000 20, for a seemingly unlimited amount of acreage. No neighbors. Looks like it's built pretty shitty. So if there does happen to be a storm, any natural disaster, this is going to be the first thing to go. But I need another save point. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. Look, we got a, <laughs> well, not a lake view, but yeah, we can see the ocean from the window, maybe from the back window. Yeah, see, look at that. It's not a bad investment. Interior is kind of questionable, though. Can't tell if that's a shadow or if it's mold. So I'm going to start occasionally doing stuff like that because I read a comment that it had a point. Of course, this video is going to come out long after that comment was made, but... It's basically saying how I always comment on how much there actually is to do in this game, but I don't really do it. I mean, and that's part by design. It's a retro game, so I'm not really trying to sit here for two or three months and squeeze everything out of San Andreas that I can. Most of the point was that I just hadn't ever beaten this game, so I was trying to get that done. But I am at least going to try to buy some properties, maybe participate in a couple of the extracurricular activities. 
the ones that I can, because again, I told y'all on one of the last episodes that a lot of the stuff with graphics mods, it crashes, so I don't exactly know what works and what doesn't. Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13.6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. But in 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? <laughs> Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-wing, cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now, don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign, unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them, but you do know all about that, right? <laughs> Damn! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Look, over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country. And over here, you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside, okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. Now, come on, get out of here. Alright, you know, we, we've got a deal struck with the devil. I like the way he thinks, though. I like the way he thinks, because goddamn, he's, <laughs> that's pretty cutthroat. Man said he gets touched, and a prison guard is going home to a murdered family. Hey, you do what you gotta do out here. Jesus, what took you? Torino, where you at? Miles away. No time for niceties, kid. Choose a vehicle, grab the equipment I provided, get to that drop zone, and wait for that package. <laughs> Y'all see how hot it is out here? This is a direct replication of this summer. You can see the heat waves on the screen. Jesus, will you stop doing that? Hold up! Shit, pilot says he's got trouble. Two agency choppers coming in on an intercept. Can you see them? Yeah. Shoot them down! Protect the cargo at all costs. Wow, this must be some pretty serious cargo. We got an RPG out here to take out the copters, and you remember the last time I had to do this. I had to hit a lucky shot. There we go. I'm trying to increase his field goal percentage. That gave me a felony. Two stars to be exact. I wonder... Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. They just stayed still. They didn't even try to maneuver. They did not even try to maneuver, and this is another one of those health missions. And the cops are already here? We're on top of a damn mountain. The cops out here operate different. So I got to keep track of those sirens as well because I don't want them to flank me. There we go. Three for three. I don't believe I have missed a shot yet. I still hear the sirens. I don't see the cops. I'm really trying not to get snuck out here. How would they make it up here this fast? Where is the police department that they can make it to the top of a mountain and respond? <laughs> oh my goodness. I've never seen police respond that fast. I hear gunshots and my health is going down. I hear, oh, oh, it's up there. It's up there. Are they shooting at me? Oh, they're coming down. They're coming down here. They are coming down here. This is not... So 
So they've left me. Wait, what happened to my armor? What happened to my armor? They, they've given me a parachute here. So I think they want me to jump off, but is that far enough? No, they don't want me to jump. And there is a cop. There is a cop. We got to take care of him. He's going to be a problem later. Oh, okay, it's all right. The cops out here are dumb. <laughs> the cops out here are dumb. I'm going to just leave him be. All right, so it looks like we've made it to the contraband. And this looks just like a place in Red Dead. <laughs> One of those places I remember the little time I did play it, there was a corpse hanging from like a clothesline or something. And this looks like that place. So let me get out of here because this is definitely the Wild West. Okay, get the package back to Las Brujas. Where are you? You giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching or listening or both. Ah, uh, damn. We're back to getting paid in the gutter. I suppose I should be happy that I'm getting paid anything, honestly, <laughs> given the circumstances. It's amazing. What's up now, Torino? This history, it's all lies. It says Hitler killed himself, and then we nuked Japan. And people believe this shit. <laughs> Jesus. Well, if it makes them sleep better at night, I guess. Hey, man, what did you want? Is you gonna free my brother? No. Not now. And here's a little news flash. I said that to get you to do something for me. Man, you real fucked up. But the shocker is, we are gonna look after him. Because I need him alive as much as you do. Oh, thanks. You know, after what you've done for me, it's like you're a pro now. I got double agents in Panama. I want to put a price on your head. A Russian spy. Little fat Boris looking guy. He's asking for clearance to interrogate you. Russian style. Calipers on the genitals. Feels good. You'd like it. That ain't nothing cool, man. Just leave me alone. You bad news. Don't worry about it. The Russians got bigger things to worry about than your genitals, believe me. The whole country went to shit. You know, we tried hard to put a lid on it, but that idiot Gorbachev with his little strawberry in his forehead, he gave away the crown jewels. Still, they got their, you know, their boy in the White House. That was nice. So? What you want me to do? Now listen, I need you to buy me some property, okay? Shouldn't cost that much. You offer them a dollar. If they give you a hard time, kill them. I'm gonna need you to start doing some real wet work here for me soon, okay? Enough of this little girl bullshit. Now get out of here. Come on, beat it. Ah, so we're acquiring an airstrip. I hope I have enough for this. I mean, racing teams should be sponsored by things that are family friendly, like hard liquor or cigarettes. Not the reason my wife ran off with that cop. What? Hey, screw your wife, pal. Probably a lot of guys did. Oh, this radio station is called User Why Track Player, or was it? Ah, oh, I think that was WCTR, man. They have some amazing stations when they just sit there and talk. Eighty thousand. Later, man. Well, considering I'm about to drop eighty k on this, that might be a good idea. <laughs> I might need to become a professional street racer. Damn, Torino. I did say I was looking for some investments, but to do his mission, I straight up had to drop eighty k. Did I have to do that? Hello? Carl, it's Woozy. Hey, Woozy, man. What you been up to? Come along and see for yourself. I got a little business proposition for you. Come over and see the setup, my friend. Okay, for sure. I like that. Like it? You're gonna love it! It's the Four Dragons Casino in Las Venturas. I'll see you soon, yeah? Yeah, okay. Awesome, so it looks like we've unlocked Las Venturas officially. I just had to go through flight school, and see, that one made sense, because when I had to swim uselessly just to do Woozy's missions... That made no sense, but flying and Torino said I was going to need it. I can see how that makes a little bit more sense. Now, foreigners are behind that Exorbio handheld gaming device to decrease our productivity and make our thumbs. But so our kids can't fucking... So it looks like Woozy is the only missions I have available right now because the other two I know are optional Zero and Caesar because I have to buy. Those are just investment places they were talking about. You remember when he was talking to his sister about doing better and investing. That's all that is. So now more woozy missions. I thought I was done with him. 